Rotterdam is a major port city in the Dutch province of South Holland and the second largest city in the Netherlands. The city dates back to medieval times and was already prosperous by the 13th century when a dam was built to separate the Rot from the Nieuwe Maas. Today, it is popular for its vibrant entertainment options, its many fine museums, splendid architecture, and maritime tourist attractions. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Rotterdam, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Rotterdam Zoo. Rotterdam Zoo is one of Europe's most beautiful zoos and a naturalistic oasis where you can see creatures from around the world. The zoo is split into several different themed areas, including a Chinese garden, a Malaya forest, Mongolian steeps, and a crocodile river. This zoo really is a fantastic place for both children and adults alike, and the wide variety of enclosures and interactive elements will provide hours of fun. Rotterdam Zoo is dedicated to conservation, so a visit here supports wild populations of elephants, pandas, Indian rhinos, and polar bears. Number 9 is the Hop-On Hop-Off Bus Rotterdam. The Hop-On Hop-Off Bus Rotterdam is the best way to see all you want in this large port city, home to stunning architecture, world-class museums, and great attractions. From the Euromast to the historic Harbour District, hop on and off whenever you like at all of Rotterdam's best, most convenient locations for sightseeing. Each bus is equipped with panoramic windows and audio guides giving helpful commentaries along the route. At number 8 is a visit to Kinderdeck. On the River Nord, just 23 kilometers east of Rotterdam, is the beautiful little village of Kinderdeck. Each of its 19 perfectly preserved 18th century windmills is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Built between 1722 and 1761, together they comprise the largest surviving concentration of windmills in the country, a history that's celebrated during special mill days, when their sails are once again set in motion. Number 7 is Stadelijk Museum. This atmospheric art museum was the St. Jacob's Hospital in the 18th and 19th centuries and is well worth a visit. It's now home to modern and contemporary Dutch visual art, including an impressive collection of artworks from the Cobra Movement, an avant-garde movement involving artists from Denmark, Belgium, and the Netherlands in the years between 1948 to 1951. At number 6 is Mini World Rotterdam. Mini World Rotterdam features tiny, intricately detailed versions of Rotterdam's famous buildings. Visitors can see many versions of Rotterdam Central Station, the Erasmus Bridge, canals, windmills, pumping stations, and much more. With the lighting changing every 24 minutes to simulate day and night, this is an exciting, unique experience for the whole family. At number 5 is Feyenoord Stadium Tour. The Feyenoord Stadium, which opened in 1937, was thoroughly renovated in 1994 and is now a listed city monument. Visitors can go behind the scenes, sit in the head coach's seat, walk through the De Cup tunnel onto the pitch, and more. Then find out about the proud history of the club and stadium at the Feyenoord Museum that's full of fun facts. Number 4 is the Maritime Museum Rotterdam. The Rotterdam Maritime Museum is located in central Rotterdam near the Markthal and was founded back in 1874. It is one of the largest of its type in the world, with a huge collection of cartography, maritime memorabilia, and art. Its world-class collection explores the impact oceans have on our lives and contains over 850,000 artifacts, celebrating six years of watery history. Visitors can discover a world of exploration and discovery with hands-on interactive exhibits and the child-friendly Bright Minds Expedition. At number three is the Erasmus Bridge. This famous suspension bridge connects the northern and southern banks of the River Maas in Rotterdam city center. The length of this impressive bridge stretches to an immense 802 meters, making it the second largest in the Netherlands. The bridge is nicknamed the Swan due to its large upright mass that resembles the neck of a swan. This feat of modern engineering creates an impressive backdrop to the port of Rotterdam and is a fine construction to admire and walk across. Number two is Euromast. One of Rotterdam's most distinctive landmarks, the Euromast lies at the north entrance to the Maas Tunnel. The tower is an observation station that was created in 1960 to provide panoramic views of the Rotterdam cityscape. It stands at 606 feet tall, and with its antenna, it is the tallest building in Rotterdam. The views from the Crow's Nest viewing platform are absolutely amazing, and on a good day, you can see for over 30 kilometers. And at number one is the Rotterdam Harbor Cruise. Characterized by cutting-edge architecture, Rotterdam's breathtaking skyline is best admired from the water. Hop aboard a ship and take in Europe's biggest harbor for an animated and inspiring journey. Discover Rotterdam's historic maritime quarter and cruise the busy waterways around this large port and see some of Holland's historical highlights along the way, as well as the SS Rotterdam, the famous 1950 ship. 
So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Rotterdam. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.